Okay, this video will be on uh, something what is called syntax and semantics. Now, if you guys ever, you know, mess around with command prompt in, uh, you know, your computers and, you know, you get something like syntax error um, or something like that. Now, we'll t take, you know, a more, a, a slightly more mathematical approach to it. You know, maybe you guys may be getting sick of that, but that's what theory computation is about. Mathematics behind us, mathematics behind this will let us understand what it goes on behind, what goes on, you know, in computers and how exactly do they run, how, you know, we like, you know, study them, you know, how can we make, you know, you know, computers, you know, run faster or, you know, use less space to, you know, store memory and things like that. So it's, it's, it's pretty important because that, you know, as I said before, Alan Turing, it wasn't for his work in mathematics. So you may, we may not be, you know, even, you know, viewing, you know, this video or have YouTube or anything like that. Who knows? Now, what is syntax? Now, syntax is basically, you know, you're given a language. And then you have like a, you know, again, another finite, you know, collection of symbols and an alphabet. And you have a language over that alphabet, you know, your, you know, your possible strings. And then uh, if the language is contained in the alphabet, then, you know, then it's just, the syntax is correct. And if it's not contained, then it's a syntax violation. As you can see here, we have alpha, uh, gamma, epsilon, lambda, and mu, just randomly chosen letters. And we have alpha and gamma for a uh, language over the, over this alphabet. Now... It, now we see here that the language is completely contained in the alphabet. Therefore, it's you know it's it's part of the language, and you know syntax is you know non not violated. Now here we have lambda and a left. Now a left is not is a syntax violation because a left is not part of the alphabet. We have you know having a, how we're using. It's not it's not part of the alphabet. It's it's under you know uh, analysis. And here I put a uh, true this this uh, t. Uh, subscript T outside this little, you know, the carry braces to mean uh, tautological or true. And again, tautological simply just means true. So it means that this is, you know, it, it this is part of the language. I mean, technically, I probably should have written, you know, this is, you know, contained in the alphabet set. And that could have been probably a more, you know, better statement. But th that's just sort of implied. I mean, I figure we don't need to write, I don't need to write everything out. I mean, some of the stuff you can, you know, you get just by implying from you know from, from this stuff the, the more you study this and this will make a lot more sense and you'll have you know the intuition for it and understand it better now uh, and then now we also have something called semantics now semantics is, is rather uh more difficult to define because semantics is some people view as a complete and you know a complete and intimate understanding of the syntax and um it's basically it's it's basically you you the understanding like the meaning behind it like that goes, that really goes, especially this has wide region concepts in places like artificial intelligence, which is, you know, the, can they really, can artificial agents really think? Because if they just, you know, move around, you know, symbols in their, you know, in their, you know, little electronic brains, you know, with circuits and, you know, logic gates and things like that, can they really, you know, perform, you know, human, you know, human thought? Like, you know, well, can we, can they mimic human thought in a uh, indistinguishable way from a person? And that's, you know, if they just use syntax alone, they never understand what they're doing and they can't really learn if they just, you know, follow, follow just the given procedure. That's what the, that's what robotics is based on. It's based, based on syntax. Now, semantics is the idea that we're trying to give understanding and, you know, based on the syntax. It's sort of like, you know, extended from, much more difficult to define. You know, I don't think I can, you know, write a accurate, you know, a completely accurate model. Maybe we're able to write a partial model, but a completely accurate one is rather difficult to do. And so I didn't really, you know, bother making it because that may be, again, beyond the scope of this video. If I wanted to make a video series on computational linguistics, I may learn it some other time. But not, not, it's not that important for this video series. Just, again, it's, you know, it's important to know this stuff because it, it reaches in computer science far, especially in, you know, artificial intelligence. You know, how do we get the, how do we get, you know, machine, machines to think? This is, you know, if, if there was a way, if, if there, if a method is discovered, that's the semantics is you know predominates over the syntax then you know that would, I would imagine would be a significant leap in artificial intelligence and you know would be you know very very significant actually it probably would be covered in the news if that were to be to be the case now so a review is remember for a syntax we have an alphabet we have a language over the alphabet if the subset of the alphabet which is also called the language is completely contained in the alphabet then the syntax is you know not violated and if it's even even one like if it's if the Language here is not completely, has to be completely contained in, in, in the uh, alphabet, then it is uh, also a, a, syntax a syntax violation. It's, um, that's just how it's, how it's just defined. And then semantics is like the general meaning, 
like you know what is the meaning behind the syntax and is semantics really a complete understanding of the syntax or is it something more to that does it fall under you know does, is it you know subject to girdles and completeness theorem maybe it's impossible to prove one way or another whether semantics is an extension of syntax or some or something else you know who knows what semantics is truly all about it's i would imagine it's also debated in philosophy a lot so but anyways that that is and i guess all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one this is um a, a slightly different look a little less math behind it more concept wise as some of my other videos will be because you know computer science is not math this is what was math and computer science um but anyways that that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed see you later